so we'll, we're gonna we're gonna give you a little sense of what that is. But I just want to make sure everyone's with us before we come in. All right, welcome everybody. Good morning. Um, my name's Kim. I'm one of the members of the Historical Society here in Johnson. I'm so glad you guys came out this morning. This is like my, one of my favorite events that we do. <laughs> um, this is our third annual scavenger hunt. Um, now this year, if you've taken part in last year or the year before, um, what we did then was we pretty much had a big long list of all these things to look for, and you went around town with a digital camera and you went crazy looking for everything. Um, but we were sort of finding that everybody was coming back with most, if not close to all of the things on the list. So we're like, all right, this year we got to change it up, make it a little bit more challenging, and of course. Since this is the Historical Society, we want you to learn some of the history of the town while you're at it. And so this year's hunt is a little bit different. In the past, we did not let you use your smartphones for looking things up. You could really just only take pictures. This year, it's going to be a little different. You can look things up. You can go ask friends. You can use your, use your phone to your heart's content. Use a computer to your heart's content. So I'm going to read you the... Um, basically the, uh, the layout for the day, and then when we do our market, on your market set go, we got, we got, you got a little air horn today, then um, you'll have uh, most of the day to find all these things on the list, figure out answers to questions, and things like that. So let me read it out to you. It says, and this is actually on your packet too, so when you open it, it's on there for you to read as well. It says, in this packet, you will find a list of 50 clues. <coughs> Some are straightforward. Some require some thought, some knowledge, or some research. Decipher the clues to complete a task. Locate specific words, numbers, colors, facts, perhaps a rubber stamp, a sticker, and record them on your worksheet, which is in your, it's in your packet. You have six hours from 9.30 to 3.30 to decipher the clues as many as you can and complete as many tasks as you can. With the exception of task number one, all sites are located within the town of Johnston. The team with the highest total point value by the end of the day is the winner. And we have some lovely donated prizes over here, some uh, Italian gift baskets with some digital cameras, some, some um, uh, gift cards from Brood Awakening. We've got a lovely uh, is that an azalea? azalea that's been donated. So some great prizes for the uh, first four teams, first highest points of four teams. Um, the tallying of the points and the awarding of the prizes will take place after 3.30. People will come back, hand in their sheet, we'll figure out how many points you have, and we'll figure out who's the winner. We will be here at the same spot. Um, this year, digital devices are allowed but not required. The use of the Internet, smartphones, books, maps, GPS, or knowledgeable grandparents is encouraged and recommended. Please leave all materials in place at each site you're going to find things. Leave them behind for the next team, good sportsmanship and all the like. If you arrive at a site and there's a team already there, please be courteous and wait your turn or move on to a different task. Please drive carefully, park legally, and respect private property. We do not want any accidents, speeding tickets, or other unfortunate incidents. And most of all, have fun. That's the whole point is learning about your town, finding out some cool stuff. So I do believe if you hit the official point, you may open your packets. we got our airborne ready. Your mark, get set, go. Woo! All right, we'll see you soon. We're used to it. We're used to it. We're used to it. We're used to it. That's the unfortunate Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun.